Now let's come to the mathematical part of magnetic field and magnetic forces. So up to now we have studied that if there is a magnet it will have two poles north and south and the magnetic field will be from north pole to south pole and inside the magnet it will be from south to north. In a similar manner you have magnetic field from north to south in all the three directions. Okay. So you also have some magnetic field lines which will be from this side and they will come towards this side. Okay. So this field around a magnet is called magnetic field and it is given by a symbol B vector. Okay. So now if in a magnetic field, so this is the field we are having suppose. I've drawn this part of the field here. So if you have a magnetic field and there is a charged particle, let us say that there is a positively charged particle and it is moving in this direction with some velocity v. Then, so this v vector is making an angle of theta with the magnetic field. So this angle is theta. So if a charged particle is moving in a magnetic field with some velocity v and is making an angle theta, it will experience some force due to the magnetic field and that force is defined by q v vector cross b vector and it is a vector. So now what will be the direction of this magnetic force? You see it is a cross product. So if you remember that if c vector is equal to a vector cross b vector, it means that c vector is perpendicular to a vector and b vector. Okay. So if you have to find the direction of c vector, it will be perpendicular to a vector and b vector. So suppose if a vector is this, b vector is this and the angle between them is theta and this is xy plane then they both are lying in the xy plane v and b they are a and b they are lying in the xy plane then in the z direction will be your c vector okay. so in a similar manner the magnetic force will be perpendicular to magnetic uh, to the velocity of the charged particle and the magnetic field. Now, how do we find out find the direction of magnetic field? We have some rules, and they're called right hand thumb rule. Right hand rule. So in this right hand rule, if it is a positively charged particle, we use right hand rule. But if it is a negatively charged particle, we use a left hand rule. For a negatively charged particle. So we use a right hand rule for the positively charged particle and it goes like this. That if the velocity is along the thumb and the magnetic field is along this finger, the force will be along this finger. So in this situation you see that if the, the velocity is along the thumb, magnetic field is along this finger, the magnetic force will be perpendicular to velocity and magnetic field will be magnetic force. So if it is in the x direct, xy plane, these two are in the xy plane, this will be in the z, z direction. Okay? So that is why we can draw magnetic force perpendicular to v vector and b vector. Now let's try to understand it further for various charged particles in various fields. Let us say that 
Before uh, explaining about the positively and charged, negatively charged particles, let me just tell you something about the direction of field. Now, because in this, uh, in mag when we're dis discussing magnetic fields, we'll have to uh, talk about three dimension. So, we have a convention where we say that in order to give direction of magnetic field or magnetic force or even current sometimes, we use this notation. Now, this notation goes like this. So, if there is an arrow and it has feathers on its tail and it is pointed, okay? So, if the magnetic field is pointing towards you, so what you see is the tip of the feather or the tip of the arrow, okay? So, if you see a magnetic field or some direction which is given by dots, it means that the field or current or magnetic force is pointing out of the paper. So it means that if suppose it is for B vector, it is B vector is pointing out of paper. Okay. But if now the magnetic field is pointing towards the towards the paper, then you can see the feathers from here. So if this is an arrow so let's say this is the pointing part and this is the feathers so if it is pointing towards the paper you will see the feathers of um, the arrow so if we draw feathers or the crosses it means that the arrow is pointing towards the paper and what you are seeing is this surface which is the feathers of the magnetic field so this this type of field or this type of notation for the direction will mean that it can be current also and we can also use this notation for magnetic force okay but usually we'll use it for magnetic field so this will mean that magnetic field is pointing into the plane of paper okay so this will make uh, the discussion in three dimension easier. So now suppose that you have a magnetic field which is given by crosses. It is a uniform magnetic field, so uniformly distributed crosses. Okay. So then let us say that there is a positively charged particle. which is moving in this direction. So velocity vector is moving perpendicular to the magnetic field and this crosses they are for the magnetic field. Okay, So it means that magnetic field is into the paper. Okay. And you have a positively charged particle and it is moving in this direction. Now what will be the direction of force on this uh, particle? So we use uh, the right hand rule because it is a positively charged particle. So magnetic field velocity, magnetic field is pointing downwards and the force, so the force will be towards the left. Okay. So velocity, magnetic field and force. So it will be velocity magnetic field and force so the force will be towards the left so it will experience a force towards the left of so it means that the charged particle it will start moving towards the left okay so when it is moving towards the left it has a velocity velocity vector which is tangent to the motion okay now again let's see when it's moving in this direction what is the direction of force so it's moving now in this direction and the force is now again towards it's downwards okay 
so in this situation the force will be towards this direction so when the force is in this direction this charged particle it will move like this and when it moves like this the velocity vector will be in this direction and if the velocity vector is in this direction then you see that the force will be downwards so the force here will be downwards and when it moves downwards the magnetic field will be towards the right and when it is towards the right the charged particle is forced to move towards the right okay and when it is here the magnetic the velocity vector will be this and the force will be again towards the center and it will reach here so it means that if a positively charged particle enters a magnetic field it will move in a circular path such that the force is always towards the center now this magnetic force is always pointing towards center and such a force which is pointing towards the center is called a centripetal force so if the mass of this positively charged particle is m this centripetal force will be given by m into e the centripetal acceleration and if you remember centripetal acceleration is v square upon r where r is the radius of the circular motion so this should be r okay. and the magnetic force so will be equal to this now you know that the magnetic force is given by q v vector cross v vector so at all the times you see that the velocity vector and magnetic field vector they are perpendicular so at all points okay because magnetic field is pointing downwards so if the velocity vector is this it is perpendicular if the velocity vector is this it is perpendicular if the velocity vector is in the downward direction or in the upward direction it is still perpendicular okay so at all times velocity vector is perpendicular to the magnetic field so we can also write this should be the magnitude of the magnetic force so this equation here becomes okay and then we can say that v upon r will be q b upon m and this v upon r is something called omega and it is if you remember from the chapter rotational motion this is called angular frequency okay so it means that this is the angular frequency and if we have to find out what is the time period of motion when the charged particle is moving in this circle then you know what is time period it is the total distance upon the velocity the velocity is v okay and v upon r is omega so we can also write it as 2 pi m upon this will be the time period of motion of a charged particle in a magnetic field so it means that charged particle will move in a circular motion when it is moving in a magnetic field and it will have a time period means that when it will start from this point and then it will come back to the same point the time it takes to move in one 
the circumference of this path is given is given by 2 pi m upon q b where q is the charge b is magnetic field and it has angular frequency of v upon r now you need to understand here is that the magnetic field only changes the direction of the particle but it does not change the magnitude of the particle so the velocity magnitude will always be a constant okay it will never change when it is in the magnetic field and there is no other force acting on it but what will change is the direction of the charged particle it will change so we can also discuss this for a negatively charged particle now let us say that there is a negatively charged particle and it is also moving the same velocity in this direction so now uh, we, we again using right uh, a thumb rule for it but now instead of right hand rule we use a left hand rule okay so velocity magnetic field force so velocity is in this direction magnetic field is pointing downwards so the force will be towards the right so it will experience a force in this direction so if it is being forced to move towards the right it means that this velocity it will force to move towards the right so it will move and it will reach somewhere here and when it is here, velocity vector is in this direction. So again we apply uh, the left hand rule. So velocity is in this direction. Magnetic field is in this direction. So the magnetic force will be downwards. So this will be the magnetic force. So if it is forced to move downwards, it means that it will move like this. And at this point again, the velocity vector will be tangent and when the velocity is downwards and now I, you cannot see it but just the ma the force will be towards the center of this circular motion so this will be the magnetic force and when it reaches here the magnetic force will be towards the center and then it reaches somewhere here so it will move clockwise and it will move counterclockwise okay so it means that if charged particles are in a magnetic field they will move in different directions 